Hi, hope you are well. In this video, we want to solve three problems, three important problems from three prestigious math Olympiad. One of them, AMC 2021, last AMC for America. The other one, SMO Singapore Math Olympiad round to junior 2018. It is junior, but the idea is also useful for senior and open section in next videos i will release something about open section and uh, senior section so keep in touch to have next videos next useful ideas and the other one with this idea we want to solve 2022 bmo british mathematical olympia so the idea is what considering different mods and when we have a number most of the time that includes variables so if you don't know congruency is what we will solve many problems in congruency but the definition only working with that applying congruence if you don't know that now click i release a video in that video in one chapter you can use time codes in the description click on that chapter and go straight forward and learn the things for congruency you need so click on top of my widow, the card you see, and go to straightforward time codes to that chapter and learn congruency, the things that we need for solving these three problems. Okay. Okay, this video has three parts. The first one, learn congruency that we need. I said in my previous video, I release something new. You can use the time codes on that. Click the card on top of my widow now. You can learn if you don't know. Now then, we want to work on the rules of remainders. For example, mod 2, mod 3, mod 9, mod 11, mod 5. If you don't know that, okay, you can use, again, time codes in the description of this video below. And last part, we want to solve the problems. And, okay, at first we will solve AMC problem. Then we will solve SMO problems, American singapore and then british mathematical olympia so you can see any of them that you want by using time codes in my description of this video at first so look we should know when we have a number i want to show a number with variables okay so for example if someone says even numbers show that with variable you quickly say 2k but sometimes Someone says, okay, we have a two-digit number. How you show that? So you should say A, B, and this bar. It means what? Why well, you draw this line on top of the number? Because it shows that if you write this, it means what? R, A times B. But you show this, that you mean it's a two-digit number, and it will be what? B plus 10, A. Okay, so if you want to show three-digit number, it will be A, B, C and you say okay it will be what it will be 100 a because it is 100th digit 10th digit 100th digit 10th digit it will be 10 b one digit it will be c now i want to consider congruency the remainders of these numbers the rules are what so the first one two and five you consider only last digits 3 and 9, you consider sum of digits. And 11 from right, you consider... Okay, for 11, you consider from right plus minus plus minus sign. So let me tell you at first some example to understand and we solve the problem. So suppose we have a number, three-digit number, 5, 7, 8. Okay, now we want to consider... The remainder when divided by 2, 3, 5, 9, 11. At first I tell you and then we try to prove that. Okay, for 2, last digit. Last digit is 8. Okay, 8 is okay, even. So it is even number when divided by 2. For 5, again you consider last digit. So for 2 and 5, you should consider last digit. If you consider last digit, it is even, and for 5, you say, okay, the remainder of 5, 7, 8, when divided by 5 is what is 8. And the remainder of 8, as I said in 
congruency in previous part you subtract 5 from here 3 so the remainder of this number when divided by 5 is 3 okay now for 3 mod it was mod 2 and mod 3 for mod 3 and 9 it's same sum of the digits so here if we add some of the digits 5 7 8 so you say 5 plus 7 plus 8 5 plus 7 12 plus 8 20 if you consider mod 3 20 mod 3 is what is 2 20 mod 9 in this case it's equal for both of them in some cases maybe it's different but the rule is sum of digits 2 is what mod 9 2 because if you subtract 18 it will be 2 okay for example if we check some other numbers i want to show sometimes the remainders are not equal you say 7 plus 7 plus 8 it's 14 plus 8 22 22 mod 3 if you subtract 3 the remainder is 1 because 21 you can subtract it's multiple of 3 in mods i explained in previous part 22 mod 9 if you subtract 9 twice 2 times 9 it will be minus 18 4 so i told you 3 9 2 5 now the last part 11 so this is so much useful from right you consider plus and then minus plus from this part you start you say 8 minus 7 plus 5 so you use mod 11 and say what 8 minus 7 minus 5 1 5 minus 1 4 so the remainder is 4 sometimes you can say okay if it is negative what happens let's check for example 2 7 1 4 that's okay plus minus plus okay so you consider again from right you start plus minus plus minus and you will say what 2 minus 7 plus 1 minus 4 and it will be what mod 11 if we calculate that it will be negative 5 plus 1 negative 4 negative 4 negative 8 and if we add 11 to this I, we said we can add 3 so the remainder of this number if you divide by 11 will be 3 so these are rules I will prove the hardest one 11 and I will leave 11 and 9 okay so because all of them are easy let's prove all of them so okay suppose we have a number like this so we mark we say a 0 1's digit we multiply a 1 by 10 and then we multiply a 2 by 10 squared and then we write until a n minus 1 times i start from a 0 so a 1 times 10 to the power of 1 a 2 10 to the power of 2 a n minus 1 10 to the power of n minus 1 and a n times 10 to the power of n so i consider mod 11 at first mod 11 if you want to consider 10 mod 11 is what you subtract 11 from that negative one so it will be what mod 11 it will be a0 10 is negative 1 minus a1 plus negative 1 squared 10 is negative 1 a2 negative 1 squared 2 a n minus 1 negative 1 to the power of n plus a n negative 1 to the power of n so it is exactly the rule that i said you consider what you say okay a1 is a0 plus a1 minus negative 1 to the power of 2 plus and it will be this but now we want to consider mod 9. Mod 9 and 3 are same. So in this case, because we want to consider mod 9, you say 10 is congruent to plus 1 mod 9 because you subtract 9 from 10. So instead of each 10, you can replace 10 with 1. It will be sum of digits a0 plus a1, a2 to a n. Exactly for 3, you can do that similarly. 10 mod 3 is 1. You replace 10 with 1. For 2 and 5, again, it's same. Let me tell you, for example, for mod 5, mod 2 is exactly the same. So 10 mod 5 is what? Can you say? Yes, 0. So you can replace all A1, all the things that have 10 
will be zero, so only A0 will be left. So last digit is important. So the, this idea, the way I proved these things is useful also for other numbers. This technique is important. So we've explained all the congruency that we need for solving this problem. So let's solve the first problem, AMC. Okay, this problem 2021 AMC American Mathematics Competitions 12A fall for last year. So, if we consider it says the six digit number 20210A is prime for only one digit A. What is A? So, you should consider different mods, and in this problem, it's easy to use. So, A cannot be because of mod what mod 2 you should consider last digits so we have look a is what a can be 0 i write all of them 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so because of mod 2 i say okay even digits is not possible so 0 2 you reject 4 6 8 because the only odd even Number that is prime is 2, and it is obviously greater than 2. So we reject these things with applied mod 2, considering different mods. Then we apply mod 5, it will be what? You reject this. So, now what numbers are left? Let's see, 1, 3, 7, 9. We should check these things. Now I want to consider mod 3. If you can some mod 3, it's not multiple of 3, then it is not multiple of 9 also. So here are some of the digits. 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 8. It will be 2, 2, 4, 1, 5, 5 plus A. So it shouldn't be multiple of 3 because it is prime and greater than 3. The only prime number that is multiple of 3 is exactly 3. 5 plus A. If you replace A with 1, it will be multiple of 6. Multiple, it will be 6 and multiple of 3. 5 plus 7 is also bad. So 3 and 9 are left. The next congruency, the next mod we should check. You guess what? Can you guess? Try a little. Yes, mod 11 we should check. If we want to check mod 11 from right, we consider plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. It will be what? A plus 1 plus 0. It will be A plus 1 minus 2 minus 2. It will be minus 2 minus 2. And it will be A minus 3. So it shouldn't be multiple of 11. Again, the only prime number that is multiple of 11 is exactly 11. But this number is greater than 11. So what number is bad? 3 exactly. Because if you replace A with 3, it will be 0. Now only one digit is left. So the answer is E9. This problem. SMO Singapore Mathematical Olympiad Round 2 Junior Section 2018 Problem number 1. Consider the integer 30x070y03 where x, y are unknown digits. Find all possible values of x, y so that the given integer is a multiple of 37. So the problem says, consider what? Mod 37. So here, if we want to write this number, the idea is important. Let's write this number. It will be this, and we should multiply this by 1. It is tens digit by 10. It is next digit 10 squared, 0, 10 cubed. 7, 10 to the power of 4, 0, 10 to the power of 5, this one, 10 to the power of 6, 10 to the power of 7, and this one, 10 to the power of 8. So, it will be what? It will be from left, if I calculate 3 times 10 to the power of 8, 0, you don't need to write that plus. Uh -huh. Because we have x here, let me write product by this. 3 times 10 to the power of 8 plus here. 10 to the power of 6x and 7 times 10 to the power of 4 you can write and this part 10 squared y 
And last one, three. Okay, I want to consider mod 37 because I have powers of 10. So at first I should consider, okay, 10 to the power of something is what mod 37. If you consider 10 to the power of one mod 37, it's obvious it will be what 10. If you consider 10 squared, 10 squared is 100. If you subtract 3 times 37, 100 minus 3 times 37, it will be what? 100 minus 3 times 7, 21, 2, 3 times 3, 9, plus 2, 11. Why we subtract? Because we want to reach something small, absolute value of that small. So best one, 2 times this also you can use, but 3 times this is a little better. Negative 11 mod 37. And the last one, 10 to the power of 3. You can say it is congruent to 10 times 10 squared. And instead of 10 squared, you can replace it with negative 11. It will be what? Negative 110. And now you can add 3 times 37, which is what? 111. And it will be 1. That's great. Why? Because 10 to the power of 3 is 1, you can replace it. So, for example, 10 to the power of 8, if you want to consider 10 to the power of 8, it will be what? 10 to the power of, for example, 8 is 10 cubed times 10 cubed times 10 squared. 3 plus 3 plus 2 is 8. 10 cubed is 1, so it will be 100. 1 times 1, 1. 100, 100, we said is equal to negative 11. So this one we found, if we consider mod, it will be 3 times negative 11. For 10, 6, you can say it's 10, 3 times 10, 3, each of them is 1. So plus x, plus 7. 10 to the power of 4 is 10, 3 times 10. 10, 3 is 1. So times 10, 7 times 10. Look, 10 to the power of 6, you can say it's 10 cubed times 10 cubed which both of them, all of them, we consider mod 37. It will be 1 times 1 is 1. And this one also mod 37. 10 to the power of 4 is what is 10 cubed times 10. If we consider mod 37, it is 1 times 10. It will be 10 mod 37. So 7 times 10 will be 70 and plus 100 Y. 100 is we've calculated here is negative 11 okay so let me write negative 11 y plus 3 the problem says it is multiple of 37 so you know it is 0 mod 37 so let's only focus on this congruency okay now let's simplify negative 33 we have and 3 here we have so it will be what let me write negative 33 plus 3 plus 70 plus x minus 11y is congruent to 0. So this one, 3 minus this will be negative 30. And this one will be what? 40. 40 mod 37 is what? Will be 3. So here we say 3. I like equality. Take x to right hand side, negative x, and negative 11 to right side. It will be plus 11y mod 37 okay so 11 we know y and x were digits so 11 y minus x can be what 3 or 3 the minimum one is when y is 0 for example x is 9 so it will be until at the minimum one is negative 9 if you want to consider. So if you subtract 37 because you, instead of 3 you can write this congruent to 3 minus 37, negative 34. So negative 34 is impossible because it cannot be that number. But you can plus 3 plus 37 as in congruency I told you. It will be 40. It's possible because the maximum is when 11, for example 9, it is 0. It will be 99. Plus 37, it will be what? 77. And if we add by 37, then the next one is impossible. So if we want to reach 3, let's check for each of them. Let's for each of them see y and x will be what? y, 0, impossible. If y is 1, then x will be 8. It's okay. If y is 2, then 
it will be 22 and impossible for this one for you you should place 4 here the only possible case and x will be what 44 minus 4 and the last one is when you replace y with 7 and x with 0 okay now our number is this x and y all of them are possible cases so how many possible cases do we have then one two three so the answer of this problem equal to three now let's solve next problem for british mathematical olympiad this problem 2020 bmo round one problem number four in the equation this the letters a b c d and e represent different base 10 digits okay so this line is important different base 10 digits so the right hand side is a 16 digit number this one if you calculate 1 2 3 4 5 5 times 3 15 plus 1 16 and aa is a two digit number here given that c is 9 find a b c d so okay we can say c is 9 and all of them a b d or e are not e because different are not 9 so let's solve this problem at first we should find a a1 is impossible because it will be 1 to the power of 11 1 plus 11 12 two digit number but right hand side is 16 digit number the problem says 16 digit number so it's impossible if you replace a with 2 it will be 2 to the power of 22 plus 22 it will be around what let me tell you for example it will be 2 to the power of 11 squared plus 22 it will be 2048 squared plus 22 you can say it's less than 3000 squared plus 22 which will be what nine and six zeros zero 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 if you add by 22 one two three four for five and six you write two two so it is not 16 digit number we should increase a i want to say a3 is okay so let's check a4 i want to say a4 will be so much greater than this and then we conclude a3 so let's reject a4 for rejecting a4 I can say the left hand side is 4 to the power of 44 plus 44. I want to say it is greater than this. So I focus only on this part. It will be 2 squared to the power of 44. It will be 2 to the power of 88. And it will be 2 to the power of 10. It's I can say it's greater than that. It's greater than that 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 8. Because it is 2 to the power of 80 or 88. And it is 1024 to the power of 8. It is greater than 1000 to the power of 8. It will be what? 10 cubed to the power of 8. 10 to the power of 24. It is 25 digit number. So it's so much great because we need it's greater than 25 digit number. It's what? 16 digit number. So we've rejected A1. We've rejected A2 and A4. So A will be what? A will be 30. A will be 3. So the left hand side will be what? 3 to the power of 33 plus 33. Now we found A. A is 3. Also the, the problem says C is 9. So what numbers are left? B, D and E. Okay, so for finding the other digits we say what? b e we want to find b and e okay we can use a good mod for e we can use what mod 10 for example for b e we can use what last two digits for example you can use mod 100 okay if we use mod 100 the left side is what 3 to the power of 33 plus 33 now i want to consider mod 100 so 3 to the power of 33 is what 3 to the power of 4 is what is 81 last two digit 81 3 to the power of 8 let me show you multiply 81 by 81 it will be 1 8 8 times 1 8 only you need last two digits 61 then we want to calculate 316 it is 3 8 squared so 
38 squared, you know 38 is 61, it will be 61 squared. And 61, 61, it will be 61, 6 times 1, 6. It will be 1, 2. So it will be what? 21. 3 to the power of 32 will be 21 squared because of this 316 squared. 21 squared is 441, we need 41. And then 3 to the power of 33, you multiply 41 by 3. It will be 3, 3 times 4, 2. So it will be 23. 23 for this part plus 33 will be what? 336 to 356. So we found that B is 5, E is 6. So we found A, B, C, and E. So only D is left. So let me consider all this. B will be 5, all E is 6. So the next congruency we should check mod 9. If we want to consider mod 9, we should consider sum of digits. So let's write mod 9. Okay, so let me erase these parts. Okay, 3 to the power of 33 plus 33. Mod 9 is what? It is obviously mod 9 because it's 33 threes that multiply together. So 33 is left this number. And 33 mod 9. If you subtract 27 from that, it will be 6. The right side. How many B do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 B we have plus. How many E do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 E we have. Okay. B E I said. Now D. 1, 2 D. 2 Ds we have. And, okay, E, we've written C plus 1C. Okay, so if we replace, it will be what? 9 times 5. Replace B with 5, it will be 45. 4E, we know E is 6, so 4 times 6, 24. Plus 2D, we want to find D. 2D plus C. C is what? C is no 45 if we consider mod 9 instead of 45 you can replace it with 0 24 will be negative 3 because subtract 27 from that plus 2d plus 0 so it will be what 2d minus 3 mod 9 should be what 6 so 2d minus 3 d is at least you can say 0 so, if you consider 6 minus 9, it will be negative 3. Okay, you, you can write these things, or let's, let's simplify a little more before writing these numbers. So, we can say what? We can say 2d negative 3. Take it to, we said 2d minus 3 is congruent to what? 6 mod 9. You can take negative 3 to left hand side, it will be 3. 6 plus 3 will be 0. So, you can say 2D is multiple of 9, so the only possible case is D B multiple of 9. So D is 0 or 9. But from assumption of the problem, the problem says all the digits should be different. So if you consider D9, it's bad because E is 9, C is 9, so D will be 0. So we found all the digits. D is 0. So A is what? 3. B, 5. C, 9. D, 0. E, 6. Okay, so we finished these three problems with similar ideas considering different modes when you have a number with variable digits. If you learn something new, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification, like the video, and if you had any recommendation or any other things feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description and comments also you can comment for any other way for any other solution if you have any problem with these things you can use my playlist also after the exam of smo singapore math olympiad round two i have three upcoming lives you can Turn on notification of those lives after the exam, like round one. 
I will release solutions of round two for all three sections. Open section, junior section, senior section. Okay. Thanks for watching my videos and for your support. Bye.